Well, hey crafty friends, and happy Monday to you, or if you're watching on replay, whatever day of the week it might be. On this video, we are going to do um, some fun dolling up of some things that I picked up yesterday at my local Target in the dollar spot section. So before I get started doing that, let me show you what I found. Okay, so yesterday I found this set, look at the fringe, of two white tea towels that have black fringe. These have, I washed these this morning and dried them. They wash up great. Um, I got two of them for $5. And then this one I've already done, but I'll be telling you about it in a second. This was a set of two with these little pink tassels, and those were $5 also. And then I also found these, which I was going to do them today, but I'll show you why we're going to wait until tomorrow. This is a table runner. It's been washed. I washed it this morning. And it is great. It does need to be ironed, but I'm going to wait to do that until it's time to heat set it. And then I got a set of four placemats for $5 also. So um, if you haven't been to your local Target dollar spot lately and any of this stuff appeals to you for spring, you might want to check it out. I just think it's fun to have something kind of different as a base to start out with. Oh, okay, and here's the reason why I'm gonna wait on um, doing these pink placemats and this pink and white table runner is because I'm expecting an order that I placed from magnoliadiy.com to come in tomorrow. Hopefully it'll come in reasonably early in the day and then we're gonna use this stencil on the placemats. It's going to be adorable. I don't know if we'll do the little um, band that goes around it, but we'll be doing the Cottontail Farms in black ink, and it'll be adorable. And then we'll figure out whether we want to use the same stencil or something different for the table runner. And if we end up doing bunnies at the ends of the table runner, we may actually do a little pom-pom tip. So that is what will be happening tomorrow. And if you haven't looked at this stencil, or this one is super cute too, or any of the new stuff at Magnolia, you can do that just by clicking magnoliadiy.com, smushed, all smushed together, no space. Um, otherwise it'll take you to some weird barbecue site. So it's Magnolia DIY, period, C-O-M. Okay, so what we're gonna be working on here are these. And um, before I came live, I had to see how this would work. And so I stenciled this one. Um, I will heat set it here in not too long with my hot iron and a piece of parchment paper. And then it will be washable and dryable. Isn't that a pretty stencil? We're gonna use this one again in just a second. And then I used this. One is part of the Christian Love Quads stencil set. And this says, Love Never Fails. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 4 to 8. Okay, so this is part of this set right here. And we're, we're going to do this because I want to show you how you can do detail. That's the idea for today. But I just want to tell you about these ones that I already did first. Okay, so... This one that says, love never fails. Um, love is a theme that you can use all year long and not just at Valentine's Day. Uh, it came from a set that's called Christian Love Quads. And it has this one, love never fails, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. This one says, love always protects and always trusts. This one says, love always hopes, always perseveres. And this one says, love is patient, love is kind. So this is one stencil. It has four pieces, and it's, it's just a great all year round um, Christian faith stencil set that I totally recommend. Okay, so... The other one that I used was this one, and we will be using it 
again in just a second. But before we do that, let's, um, I'm going to spread my tea towel out now. I want to point out one thing. When they sewed this, they put this little band of decorative trim and the tassels on the underneath for some reason of, I don't know why, makes no sense to me, but it's, this is the back side of the tea towel, so it's completely up to you if you were to get these, what you want to do. If you want to just pretend like this is the front and stencil on this part, or if you just want to stencil on this part. I'm going to stencil on the actual front of it, and I'm going to grab this is pretty tightly woven, but I'm just going to grab a couple of paper towels to lay underneath it, just to protect my craft desk. And we're going to use this adorable stencil in black and pink. Um, it says, be kind. It's the Boho Rainbow Stencil, and you guys, it is adorable. Look at this. Is that cute or what? Oh my gosh. This was a Valentine's Day stencil. Um, hence the hearts, but I think you could use either this or this or all of it together all year long. So we're going to do just the, the um, rainbow part and the hearts, and we're going to use two colors, and um, I do want to measure to make sure I'm in the center, so let me grab my ruler. Um, I'm going to show you how you can use these. There's one more that comes in the set too. This is a set of um, five paintbrush squeegees. And these are great for getting in the little spots. Um, so I don't usually measure, but I know I'm going to be giving this away and I want it to be reasonably centered. Okay, that's reasonably centered. I think it's also reasonably straight up and down. Let me put my camera down just a little bit more. So how is everyone doing? I didn't say any of my normal stuff. Um, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to sprinkle. I'd love to know where you're watching from. That still is one of my favorite things. It's so fun, especially to see when you guys are like, um, there's this one lady Adele or Adela who is watching from the Netherlands and she's on frequently and I just love to see that. I love to see, you know, my friends that live in New Mexico because that's a state that we just visited. Um, it's just, it's fun. So tell me where you're watching from. Oh my goodness. And thank you guys so much for all those stars. Wow. Okay. We're using Magnolia ink today. It has a white lid on it. We're using this pink, which is called Ballet Slipper, and then we're going to use black. Um, when you're working on fabric that you know you're going to want to wash, you have to use ink. You cannot do any chalk paste and spray it or heat set it or anything to make it permanent. It will become a big mess the first time you wash it. So you have to use ink, and then you're going to heat set it when it's dry with a hot iron. Um, okay, and I am just getting some little stir things out, and let's see, I want the small squeegee. Okay, the cut apart squeegees come like this. Usually I just cut them in half, so they're like this size, but when I know I'm going to want something even smaller, I'll cut that in half. And um, I want to do these little hearts in the center in this ballet slipper pink. And then I want to do all this business right here. Well, maybe I'll just do the hearts in the center. I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with that. And I... <sighs> I am so... It happens to me all the time that I get started talking and I forget what I'm doing, and then I end up putting one color everywhere. So I'm gonna concentrate for just a minute. And I just put ballet slipper pink on the um, hearts. 
Now let me take this and a little stir stick and some black. I want to see if I can get the black to be the next layer. So I can do the layer next to that in the ballet slipper again. Okay, and you know what would be super duper helpful right now is if I would put my glasses on so I could actually see what I'm doing. Looks like there's lots of you guys on. Um, okay, what do I like about these little... Uh, they're called paintbrush squeegees. Well, they're just the right size to get into those areas that a squeegee is going to be too big for. And they come a set of five. And each one has a slightly different tip on it, which is nice. Let's get the little um, pink and let's try to do this part now. Try to do this without getting the black involved. This layer of this, the stencil by the way, is not called Be Kind, it is called Boho Rainbow, which it is super cute. You want to work, you know, not super speedy that you're careless, but you do kind of need to work. Uh oh, I've got a little bit of black on that. Um, relatively quick. going to be super cute and I'm planning to give this and the other set of tea towels away um, towards the end of the week so I'll let you let you know all the details okay now I'm just going to grab a bigger squeegee to do the rest of this rainbow all in black and we're not doing the words be kind we're just focused on the rainbow Okay, so if you have used the ink before, um, which I know a lot of you have, I love it. I use it all the time. Tell me what you made. That's what I want to know in the comments. The great thing about the ink is that it can be made 100% permanent. So I can throw, I can use this tea towel. It's not just a pretty it can be an actually usable tea towel that I can then throw in the washing machine and in the dryer. And um, I think that's really nice. Okay, I'm getting there. I've got black ink on my fingers as normal. Such a messy crafter. Let me get this off my fingers before I touch my tea towel because I don't want to wreck it. Or get 
a big smudge of black on it. And I'll pull this off. You can see what it looks like right here. There's a few little spots. I didn't quite. And I always hesitate to try to fix things because that's when I usually mess it up. So I'm not going to. I'm going to say that cute and non-smudged is better than perfect, right? So I'm just throwing my little stencil in a bath of cool water. If I wasn't live on Facebook right now, I would take it straight to the kitchen sink and I would wash it. Um, but since I'm live, I can't really do that. Look how cute that turned out. And it's going to be adorable with the other stuff. So I'm going to set this over here uh, just to dry. And so I don't mess it up. And that was, that tea towel was to woven pretty tight. Okay, Winona says she's made several tea towels, t-shirts. Has anyone been making pillows? We're definitely going to do that. I do have some stencils that I pulled out to show you. Um, so let me show you those before I forget. While I'm talking about pillows. And then we'll come back and finish this. Okay. So these are a few of the Easter, Easter and spring stencils that I pulled out to show you. But this is one that we'll be using on a lumber pillow. And it says, he is risen. And the other half of this stencil, it's a two-piece stencil, says, be still and know. That was the subject from Christ and Crafting yesterday. So I just wanted to show you this, that stencil set that has the be still and know, and this, it's a great one. So we'll be using this on a lumber pillow. Um, this is the Hello Spring wreath thing. This is the Spring Subway. It's adorable. This is the, the words. What do they call this? Spring words. And there's tons of great, um, there's tons of great bunnies and baskets and hippity hoppity egg grow chirp, bloom, honey bunny peeps. But there's also some good faith words in here. Um, he is risen, Easter, uh, pray, Christ. So I wanted to show you this is a good one. And then this is um, a really cute one that I have not used yet. I got it last year, I guess right about the time Easter was over. So I didn't even open it. But this one is called Bunny Builder. Okay, so it has these bunnies that you do the shape, and then you come back and add their little faces. And then you can add glasses if you want, flowers, balloons, there's like different balloons, carrots, um, little grass, Easter eggs, paint brushes. So if you have little ones, or kind of little ones, grandchildren, children, um, nieces, nephews, um, you know, that kind of idea. This is a super fun stencil to have for Easter. And then this is not an Easter one, but I just pulled it out when I was, I was searching for something that I could not find. <sighs> Darn it. But anyways, this is a beautiful stencil also. I think it's still available. I hope I'm not wrong, but it says a dream is a wish your heart makes. And this is the Disney um, this is that the thing that they say, I think, Walt Disney says. Um, but look at the, um, the dandelions. 
the seed things or whatever you call those. Anyways, so I just wanted to show you those while I was talking to you today. So let's go back to this. This one, we're going to be using this same stencil that says True Love, which, um, you know, all forms of love that we as humans have for our, our significant other, whether it's a spouse, a, you know, a love interest, whatever it is, uh, for our children, for our family, for our friends, for our coworkers, for people in general, for our country. You know, I'm just trying to think of all the different kinds of love that are out there. Those are all modeled on true love, which is the love of our Savior, Jesus Christ, what he has for us. And he demonstrated his true love for us while we were yet sinners. He died for us. Um, on the cross, a horrible death to make us right with the Father so that we can be with him and the Father in heaven. And also just for every day as well. It's not just a thing that you do just to get to heaven. Life is so much better with Jesus in it. But anyway, so I just wanted to mention that, um, that all other kinds of love are basically come from the love that our Father has for us, and He loved us first, just so you know. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with this, and I'm going to start with the pink, um, because it's a lighter color. Let's see, which one did I use that was pink? I think it was this one, but I got something all over it. Okay, so I just, I did not, you might be noticing that I did not fuzz this, and I want to tell you why. Um, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to fuzz something um, on a piece of fabric before you put it on a piece of fabric. You just don't need to do that. Uh, so, this is a newer stencil. I've only used it once before. Um, but I used it on fabric also. I used it on that other tea towel. Okay. All right, so I'm using this same ballet slipper pink. And I'm just going to do the flower. I'm basically just using these paintbrush squeegees to push my pink ink through the holes on the stencil. And not get it everywhere else. And then we'll come back with black, which we'll do, we'll be able to do most of the black with the regular squeegee, but there's some tight areas around here that you know what, and I'm only going to do the tight areas with my squeegee because it takes so much longer. Let's see. We could also do this whole thing in black, and we could come back after it's dry and after it's been heat set, and we could paint. Basically, we could dilute some of this pink, and we could paint it on these flowers also. That's another option.
Okay, let's come back with my little squeegee and get these tight areas. take the gloves off. Okay, and let's, dang, I keep getting it on my hands. Let's do the little tight areas with the black ink first. I tell you what, um, stenciling <laughs> is a little bit easier when you're sitting down than when you're standing up and videoing and trying to do it. But it's not hard. It really isn't. And so often I have people ask me um, if doing these kind of projects is hard. And it really, I promise you, it is not hard. Um, it's like anything else, though. The first time you got on a bicycle, were you a super pro? Probably not. Um, it took a little practice, I'm sure, just like anything else. Um, it kind of stays with you, though, when you get back on a bicycle, even if you haven't ridden in a number of years, it does kind of come back. And stenciling is like that. You get the feel for it after you've done it a little bit. And, you know, kind of how hard to push, um, you know, how fast or slow to go. You just kind of figure those things out as you're going along. Okay, where am I missing? Let's take a little sneak peek and see. This kind of stenciling, though, ooh, is so much easier than the stenciling of the 1980s with those thick, hard stencils that you had to use those pounce brushes and go up and down. You couldn't really get any good detail. Oh, that's not too big. Okay, let me throw this in my tub. And I'll lift it up and show you. Oh, that's so pretty. And it's going to be pretty with all the other stuff, which I am planning to give away. Okay. So see how that turned out? Not too shabby, I don't think. Shove this out of the way. Um, there's the one that we just did. The boho rainbow turned out pretty cute too. So I will let both of these dry thoroughly for um, at least two hours, at least, at the minimum. And um, then when they're thoroughly dry to the touch, I'll get my iron out and my little mini ironing board, and I'll put a piece of parchment paper in between my iron and this, just to protect my iron. And I'll turn my iron on to cotton, 
no steam. And I will go over the front of it for probably three, four minutes, moving my iron around. And then I'll flip my tea towel over and do the underneath. And, um, and then it'll be completely washable, dryable, and everything. So if you like either one of these, uh, just keep in mind that you could totally do the project in your colors, whatever that might be. And on all kinds of different things, from a pillow to a tote to a t-shirt um, to tea towels, uh, placemats table runners, and then of course chalkboards, all kinds of things. So that is what I wanted to show you today was how to get some detail work done with these handy dandy. They come a set of five um, paintbrush squeegees. And um, just want to show you how you could do two colors on one tea towel. If you have any questions, just let me know. If you want links to any of these stencils, to the black or pink ink, to these paintbrush squeegees, if you don't have these, these are great. Um, just let me know that too. Say link and I'll give you all the links. Purple flowers would be pretty too. And you know what? Um, I did get the purple out, but I guess I put it away. I decided to do pink so that it would coordinate with this with these ones because I want to do these as a set to one person, all four of them. So I'll let you know when I figure out all the details of how I'm going to do that. But this was the other one. So I wanted it to all work together and I think it, it will. Yeah. Um, so yes, Teresa, I'll get you a link as soon as I'm finished here. Anyways, you guys have a blessed rest of your day. Come back tomorrow to see what we're going to do with all this good stuff that came from Dollar Tree, from Target, Dollar Spot, the front of the store. And we're going to be doing some fun things with this adorable little rabbit just as soon as the UPS guy delivers it to my front door. Okay. Have a great night. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Feel free to ask questions. Let me know if you want links.